Morning folks, this is Kent with KJS Painting and Renovations and my uh, my Toyota truck is having a hard time going into gear and and uh, hence it's slipping out of gear. It's a 1994 Toyota pickup truck. It's got a, a five speed manual transmission, a, uh, a 22R engine. Well, don't, uh, don't take it to uh, the mechanic to fix this. The first thing you have to do is just take out four screws around here. You just pull the carpet back and you can get this boot off. And the second thing is you can take the uh, take the shifter off. You just rotate it counterclockwise and it will come off of come off of here. And to get to get this out, you just push down, you know, you push down on this and you just rotate it counterclockwise. And then the, this will pop out. I just used a pair of channel locks to kind of get in there and push and rotate. And it came out. And what I found was this bushing that was completely obliterated, right? And so I went to the dealership and I got the bushing here. There it is. And I got this other one, right? Which is uh, this, this little piece right here, you know? And this was like $20.85 from a Toyota dealership. So what I'm gonna do is clean this up and put this bushing back in here. I'll show this one more time so you guys have the part numbers for these. This is the the bigger one that obliterated, and this is the the smaller one here. The smaller one that goes over here. So here's our seat sub assembly bushing, which goes in here, right? So fit this bad boy into here, you have to get it past the little nubs. So look at that, got it in there. Of course, the uh, conical part is kind of facing up to receive this. So now I'll clean that up and re-grease it after I put on this part. And this cleaned up. I'm going to take this off, you know, I'm going to cover it and use a pair of channel locks just to pry it off of here so I don't bugger it up in case I got to use it again. Okay, so this pops right off of this little ball. You can see it's a little yellow and discolored. Oh, for the record, this truck has got 125,000 miles on it and, and that thing, you know, turned into that. Here's this grease I happen to have next to my Bosch Bulldog hammer drill. I lube up my tools before I shove them into that and I hope you know, when I shove this in there with this lube, it's not going to cause any problems with the rubber and dissolve it. I don't know what Toyota used. I guess it's good news that this uh, this stuff is green, you know, same color as, as that bushing. So I'm going to put that all over here too. So I'm just going to pop this sucker on. I kind of got it up on the edge of my my truck here. Like I, need, I think I need two hands to push on this. Yeah, bingo, it popped in there easy with a nice sort of snap. So now that's on there. All right, talk about it. I got this assembly lubed up nice and proper, a little bit of lube down there on the bushing. And uh, just gonna fit it in. You can see that I'm gonna have to push down and engage that little nub and then turn this, uh, I guess that would be clockwise. So I need two hands to do that. Whoops, almost forgot to put grease on the uh, the walls of that. So there'll be a little bit of grease, you know, touching the, the outside of this. I thought I'd show you the technique for this. I'm gonna push down with the pair of my, the butt end of my channel locks and then rotate it. You know, of course I need two hands for this. <sighs> Bingo. It's not easy to do, but I got it. So let's see. Oh my God. I'm shifting my truck into gear. What is that? First, second, third, fourth. Oh my God. $20. $20. 
$20 in about 20 minutes. Look, I was smart too. I also labeled this front so I knew which way it would go on. That's something to think about. And same thing over here with this boot. Labeled that front. So, you know, I, I, I gotta take my sister to the airport pretty soon. So I'm not gonna show how to put this back on, but it's simple, right? You slide this down put this little dust cover back over this piece of cake you know slide this back down put it underneath there there's these screws that hold it in there's four of them and you just have to slide that back under pull the rug over and then I'm gonna slide this back on put my my lever back on and <clears throat> truck is working awesome This is Ben Kent with KJS Painting and Renovations. I'm always trying to do uh, videos that are useful and I thought this would be really useful. I mean, gosh, I could barely get home in just 20 minutes and 20 bucks and I'm, I'm about to go to the airport. So uh, yeah, if you like watching these videos, you can always throw a couple bucks my way or not. Go to paypal.com and enter in my email, kent.schneeweiss at gmail.com. Throw a couple bucks my way or not, or just, um, uh, you know, thanks for watching these videos and supporting my work. And if you want help with anything, give me a call.